course, everybody has a personal preference in terms of you know their own style of beer glass that they uh, they like to use. For Alexander Keys, you know, really how we see the beverage best displayed and tasted is in a taller style glass, you know, slightly wide mouthed at the top. So when you're taking your first you know taste of the beer, you know, you're picking up that aroma character coming through. And you'll notice the way uh, an experienced uh, bartender actually draws draft for you. You know, there's a certain technique to it. And a lot of that's driven by the amount of head that the person would like on the, on the top of the draft glass. So typically what you'd see is when the glass is finished being poured, you know, there's going to be uh, probably a quarter of an inch to half an inch of, uh, of uh, beer head on the top of the glass. The important thing is, you know, that it's presented in a manner that, you know, you're proud to serve it in. Well, the pairing of food and and, uh, and beer is, it's, again, it's a personal preference and uh, you really have to think what flavors complement whatever dishes are being put forward. So in the case of, say, a, like a seafood dish that uh, isn't cooked in uh, a lot of garlic or something, you know, you're going to probably choose a lighter style beer, you know, such as a, a key slight, and then you can contrast that with, let's say, uh, you know, a heavier bodied beer such as the Keese Red or the Keese Dark, you know, would go well with uh, food that's uh, cooked on the barbecue. You know, you'll detect those, uh, you know, the, the richness, say, in a, in a steak on the barbecue, and that would go nicely with a red or a dark. You know, I love Alexander Keese White. It's a great beer from being something different, you know, in terms of the way it stands out on its own. You know, we intentionally leave the yeast in solution. So when you're actually drinking Alexander Keese White and you're looking at it and you say, oh, it looks slightly hazy, that's really an effect of the yeast that's left behind at the end of the fermentation. We also add, it's basically a citrus character comes through. So it's very different than the other brands that are produced, but it really stands out as, you know, something distinctive. Yeah.